Hey there, YouTube. My name is Kim. This is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. It applies when you need it. Um, we're going to start with some tarot and then move into the oracle cards. So, hope everybody's doing great. I do appreciate all the comments that you leave and your likes, shares, subscribes. Definitely helping support my channel by hitting that like button and subscribing. I do appreciate it so much. So, we're going to get started. Okay, Capricorn. So, let's call your angels in, your spirit guides, your higher self, higher power. Get messages that are really only for their very own good, the highest good. Okay, so this um, is an FYI. There will be a new table, I'm excited to say, coming up soon. Like, I think I get it on Thursday. And this was done possible because of donations of course you get a free reading with your donation but still you know any amount has really gone to uh everything goes to this you know channel making making it look uh easier on your eyes <laughs> easier on my eyes and it's really paying for everything so i really really appreciate you all so much i just wanted to send my enormous enormous amount of gratitude and I know I messed up that word, but I'm really not going to stop the tape and roll it back or whatever. I just showed my age, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not going to stop the tape. All right, guys. So let's get the archetype deck first for Capricorn. We're going to find out about your next two days, your next 48 hours. Let's see what kind of message we have. And hopefully it's not going to be wobbly like this one. Oh, that would be horrible if I got a brand new table and it came out wobbly. Oh, well. It wouldn't be the end of the world, would it? We have the poet. Oh, okay. That's a nice one. And the hunter. Wow. You all are going to be busy. And one more. The eternal child. Okay. Okay. So this is something really um, exciting here because we need people that have the poet energy now more than ever. Um, the poet energy is about sitting in the darkness, having to, and not not really even sitting. Let me say that real right way. Going to the darkness because it's something that you've targeted and you're playing like the hunter. You're going after finding information here. Um, some of you, this might be information regarding a love interest. This might be love, but it's a general reading, so it can be a career. And I always think of career with this. You know, I also think of like Page of Swords, but there's a hint that whatever you find out, you know it's going to be something kind of dark and seedy, almost exposing like the underbelly of something or someone. And um, when you find this out, what you do is you sit in the darkness, you have no fear, and you write about it. And whether you write so that you can get on a YouTube channel and tell people or um, another, you know, another platform, uh, you could be writing poetry, songs, it, it's any kind of writing. Um, I'd even go as far as to say if, if you do a lot of writing or typing like at a job, it might go towards that too, like journalism or something where you have to find out information. So this is also about the hunter. And the hunter is, like I said, having a target. I think this is the target, this information. The hunter card it just comes out to say, okay, let's go over the basics. What are you hunting? Where are you hunting it? And what are you using? Is it the appropriate um, thing? And and also remember, a hunter is so precise at his shot that they do it. Hunters do it so that the, whatever they're killing doesn't really have to suffer much. They're just getting right to the heart of the matter and um, coming back with this information. So the eternal child is remember. There's always a part of you that's going to say, no, let's nix the rules and responsibilities because you're following your inner child. A good balance of inner child is what you want. You don't want to go too far off course so that uh, anything you find out or anything you're writing about wouldn't, wouldn't be credited. You know, don't, don't do that. Um, 
do this, like the eternal child, use the eternal child for inspiration and exploring areas that you really wouldn't if you were taking a different approach. This approach is from the heart and it is from the you that wants to play and be, um, you know, have like no cares, no worries, except for maybe the people or persons or whoever you're finding out this information about. So let's get some spell casting cards. We'll just get a little bit more information with Oracle and then we're gonna do a tarot spread for you. Capricorn. It's like controlling the narrative about something, controlling the narrative. Nice. Okay, that's really what you want to hear. Oh, that's what you want to see too. Financial health for you right on the bottom and love. So this is a general reading, but it can really be about both. We got both represented here. Finding. The finding card comes out when you have looked for something. Whatever you seek, you will find with this card. It also has to do about life purpose, soul purpose, finding that soul mission, finding that piece of you that wants to go after something that's what this card is about and it's about you finding answers so forgiveness forgiveness maybe you found out something that made you want to question somebody's loyalty maybe and this still can be like a company's loyalty or um somebody that you're in a relationship with something made you question things and right now you have the option to let go of something that was hurtful but by holding on to resentment and anger, you, you're just gonna, letting it permeate, that negative permeate your cells, and it causes dis-ease. You don't want to get sick because of that, because it's something that's totally in our control. So we forgive, and we forgive not to stay in a situation, but to have actually the opposite, everybody else move away from this situation. All right, lighten your load. Lighten your load comes out when and it makes good sense to tie this to the eternal child the uh lighten your load is about hey let's not take things too seriously right now let's have fun and go with them i think that's what it means on this one sometimes it can mean that you're carrying too much weight and okay sure that might be it but i i do think that the eternal child and lighten your load go together because the internal child the inner child is always like okay with things if they're too heavy if something's too heavy they'll put it down no questions asked because they they're not about overextending they know it can hurt really bad so finding is right there like i said with the poet has to do with what you're looking for you will find maybe if i want your hunting too whatever you define that which you're hunting all right let's look at the tarot and see what else like what other story comes out for us capricorn you're on the bottom of the deck that's nice <laughs> let's see for capricorn what's the issue whoa okay we have i'm not taking all those i'm going to take this for the issue though nine of swords nine of swords hmm Feeling like maybe you're putting, it looks like you're putting walls up. You're putting a really strong barrier. You're really on the defense. Dealing with heartache, insomnia, anxiety, past depression issues. This card is definitely about feeling a little bit in the dumps. And therefore, up go your defenses. All right, so it might be about information you found out about. It might be about what you're having to go through to get some information. Like I said, sitting in the darkness for something is not, it's not going to be pleasant, but it's definitely something you can handle. All right, Capricorn, let's get the challenge card. One, please. Thank you. The challenge. Justice. Maybe there's something that needs to be made even regarding money um, or something you've invested, put time into. Justice might be a court case, might be legal documents. It doesn't matter what side you're on, this might be for you too about that. Four of Pentacles is the challenge. Right now, it's a challenge to sit in your power and be able to invest that which you want to invest. So everything that you're wanting to put into something, which might be a lot, sometimes the resources are just lacking at the moment. 
And and this real this I'm getting this for like a depression issue too, where you're wanting to participate more, you're wanting to do certain things, but either anxiety or the loss of feeling, like feeling numb, and there's just no it's like you want to be really happy. You want to look like those other people do at this moment. But right now, I don't think you could fathom a way of how to get there because of how you feel inside. Or this is about, like I said, investment. It could be about an investment. And it might really have to do with some legal papers, legal paperwork. All right, let's get the future projected outcome. This is not what really, it's just right now with these energies, this is what's projected. All right, that's good. I think it's communication, yeah. Communication, and this is good communication. The Eight of Wands, positive news coming your way. So that's another reason why we just want to be okay right now. I know that we sometimes we can't feel a certain way till we get a certain result, but remember that you can feel whatever way you're wanting with the strength and the power that lies inside you. All right, let's get um, spirit advice for you, Capricorn. Oh, nice. <laughs> the magician, make sure you don't think on your lack too much. And realize that you have the energy of the magician. You have the power to make anything work right now. And I'm thinking more career line, but in finances, home, building something like that, building the security. It might be out of relationships to being able to secure the family and feel comfortable and and secure, safe and secure. So let's get you some tea leaves. I like this reading. It is good. I'm leaving it how it is because it is so good. Always some crap to go through to get to the other side. Okay. Dog. Protection from a powerful friend. Might have been indicating that um, Libra card back there. Forest. Muddled or unclear thinking. Muddled or unclear thinking. Hmm, I think that is because of emotions running high with this Nine of Swords. That's what I think that's about. July, if someone needs a date for something, it looks like that, doesn't it? So I'm getting a little bit of Leo in here too, guys. Uh, we have Needle and Thread, a sincere wish will be granted. It's whatever you're seeking to find. I think that's what that's about. Here's another indication to a fire sign. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate, <laughs> and that would be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius if it is. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. That might be why we have some depression or anxiety. Well, family wishes come true. I guess that there's some kind of forgiveness and something that you're going to manifest with that. And, and it says it's going to bring in family wishes. That's great. All right, broken ring, parting of the ways, romance or business is probably why these cards are here. But I'm telling you, good news is coming in. Just be be okay with these changes because they really are going to work out for your better good, no matter what they are. At the time, might not feel that way, though. Pale, time to get out of a situation. I think this is emotionally. I, I still, a lot rests on your emotions because your emotions end up mixing with your words and your thoughts and then they become reality really quick so watch out with things that you're investing so much of your emotion and time to because they might just manifest to confirm that the universe is giving you what you're thinking about you know what i'm saying so keep it positive everything's going to be okay the wishes are going to come true the family wishes are going to come true just because this has happened doesn't mean that it's not um it's kind of like a blessing in disguise feeling all right, guys, thank you for joining me and sending you much love and light. You all have a great next few days. Bye.